Shanghai. Very nice to see there. Have you heard of the, um, the Space Plus digital to analog converter? I bet you don't. So that's why I'm here actually to show you. Uh, the Space DAC or digital to analog converter or DAC, as mostly people are referencing to these devices, is basically a um, small box which connects to your computer or smartphone and makes it sound better because it has a better digital to analog converter inside. Um, oh, let me show you this one here. So this is how it looks like. It's tiny, isn't it? So basically, um, let me just give you a basic rundown of the connections on it. So here's the USB connector, and here are the status LEDs, of uh, which I will talk later. And on the back, we have got um, RCA line level outputs, a digital coaxial output, and a 3.5 millimeter headphone output combined with an optical um, output as well. So you can basically hook up another digital to another converter. Uh, let's say for comparison tests of the sound quality and so on. Um, well, what is special about this uh, device is its price. It is priced at a very, very low price point, so it's affordable. And actually, to be honest, quality was never this affordable uh, before. Uh, it's also very useful on the go. Because it has uh, a 3.5 millimeter output, which can also drive uh, up to 600 ohm um, headphones, like this one here, and um, it can do uh, it without um, any external uh, headphone amplifier needed. So basically, this device is kind of a two-in-one in device because it has also a headphone, uh, sorry, a headphone amplifier and a very, very high quality ESS Sabre um, ES 1918 um, reference digital to analog um, converter chip. In fact, let me show you the hardware uh, from more up close. This is how the actual uh, board looks like. And um, basically, uh, here is your input processor, here is the ESS Sabre uh, ES1980 um, uh, digital to analog converter and uh, all the components around here are uh, basically selected uh, by hand to meet the best, uh, the best um, possible sound quality achievable um, from these devices. You know the status LEDs, which actually um, uh, are uh, lit depending on what uh, the device is actually doing. Um, the first LED here next to the USB port um, is the USB power activity. So basically, this uh, LED is always on once the power has been applied to it. The second one uh, is the USB stream activity, which means that. Um, this is lit when you have um, whatever playing um, through the device. Then the third LED is your PCM status LED, which is lit when uh, you are playing normal PCM audio. By the way, the device supports up to 384 kHz sampling rate at 32 bits, uh, which means that um, well, basically, you can play almost any kind of PCM file available today on the digital download market. Then uh, the fourth LED is the VSD activity LED. This LED is lit whenever the device uh, is getting a DSD signal. And then the last two LEDs are the DSD type. It's either DSD64 or DSD128. This device supports both of them. Um, well, the difference uh, being the sample rate. Uh, it's either 2.8 or 5.6 megahertz. 
the space plus is a circuit board actually comes in a, in a sturdy aluminium box here is one piece of the box as you can see it has been made of, uh, of one piece plus of course the two uh, end caps and this made, makes it actually very rigid construction uh, the thickness of the material is 1.5 millimeter and this is a very very sturdy material as you can see I'm I'm pressing on it really really hard now and it just won't bend in fact I could even stand on it which we will de demonstrate later uh, now I will show you how easy it is to connect uh, the Space Plus to any device you've seen it on the iMac now I'm going to use my Nexus 5 here to connect uh, the Space Plus to it. So, what you need to do is you just need a USB OTG cable, a smartphone which either runs uh, Android or iOS, uh, depending on uh, um, if, if it's an Android phone or, or an iPhone, and it needs to have a USB OTG functionality. So, now it's it's hooked up so you can see it, um, the leds came on now i'm going to hook up my headphones like this just put it down here and let me just start the song from here and yeah actually it is playing the song maybe you can even hear it right so this is how easy it is to use it with your phone and of course we have tried to uh, optimize the um, the power consumption of the device uh, so you can uh, get several hours out um, of music listening with the space plus connected to your phone uh, or alternatively you can get USB OTG cable like this, which allows you to connect uh, the phone, um, basically the um, Space Plus to the phone, and also a charger as well, or a power bank if you are on the go. Okay, so now I will show you how to connect the Space Plus to an iPhone. In fact, I want to have one just right here, you can see. And what you actually need is this. Um, uh, USB camera connection kit manufactured by Apple and it's very simple to use you just grab it connect the uh, USB cable of the space plus and then you just connect the phone to, uh, to the device as you can see right, it already has been initialized then actually I just can start the song it's it's already playing as you can hear it's working just fine as you can also see the status LEDs are lit accordingly um, also there is software both for iOS and Android uh, to play back DSD files through um, this device these are third-party softwares, so are not manufactured by us. However, they are available either in the App Store or in the Google Play Store. Okay, so now I will demonstrate to you the DSD playback from this uh, iMac right here. As you can see, the device is in standby mode because just the uh, USB and the, um, yeah, the USB power and PCM LED is lit because uh, Mac OS actually keeps the PCM always open. So, just start the DSD64, uh, and as you can see, it already says it's a DSD, and also the DSD64 LEDs are lit, and also uh, the USB stream activity LED just came on as well, and uh, the actual song is playing in the background. Now, I will um, start a song which has been encoded in the DSD128 format. As you can see, the LEDs are lit accordingly. So it says it's a DSD and it's a DSD 128. 
which this file actually is, and it's already in the back. So, um, you might be asking why um, uh, to get one of these um, puppies uh, as well. It's, it's quite simple and quite easy. Um, let me just again show this to you. It's, it's, it's a small, very, very high sound quality device which fits in your pocket. It can do DSD, it can do PCM up to 384 kHz. Um, it has analog out, digital out. It can also drive your headphones directly, even your high impedance ones. And actually, these features are unheard of at this price point. And also, uh, the quality is, is just beyond what I could actually right now describe through this video. So, this is why uh, actually we do offer a 30 day money back guarantee for our final customers. Um, if you buy um, Space Plus and you are not um, you are not satisfied with the device, you can send it back, uh, send it back within uh, 30 days and we will give you full refund. As I mentioned, at this price point, uh, actually, I think it's a no-brainer. So get yourself right now through Kickstarter and help us to reach our goal. Thank you.